maybe you could talk a little bit about how you use the resource of real strengths when you're basically coaching up Mm -hmm. someone who's a CEO and and they're they're kind of stuck. It's often our profile, our natural makeup that gets us into trouble, isn't it? Mm. It is. And I'm going to quote somebody and I'm going to do it in front of you, which is a real risk. But Mm -hmm. you can you can you can clarify this. But I think it was Socrates said, know thyself. Was it Socrates? Yes. Wow. Past lost. Great so soccer no, player. Great. Played for Brazil. <laughs> number eight for Brazil. I used to say to Dermot, if it didn't happen on the soccer field, he didn't know it. <laughs> yeah. So he said, know thyself. And I think that's the biggest, you know, the biggest key for me. You know, the, the real strengths profile is a game changer. It's a game changer for me. Not so I can come in and fix other people. So I can be aware of myself mm-hmm. and really play from a position of strength. You know, you know, it's like if you're in, not in your strength cycle, you'll be in your lost and pain cycle, you mm-hmm. know, and we all want to play from strength. You know, I said to people, you know, Superman, even his Superman had his kryptonite, but at least he knew what it was. Right. Um, for me, understanding myself, understanding my gifts allows me to do two things. Number one, invest in them. Number two, grow in them. Number three, be very specific when I talk to people say, hey, I'm really mm-hmm. good at this. Yeah. And then have the second part of the conversation is like, look, this is not my thing. Right. And that allows me to find people who are great at that and go, you know what? We've had conversations like, oh, Brian, that's your thing. Like, you're really good at that. Why don't you lead the way on this? Mm-hmm. Same way in the team. Like, n- instead of me taking on the burden myself, I want to spend my time in my, in my strengths. I can give it to Terry King, give it to Jim Polsey, and give it to other leaders in the company and say, hey, why don't you take ownership of this and run with it? G- and, give and us really an example I, here for a sec. Let, yeah. Let's say, so talk about a specific strength you have. And this, I think, will be a great exercise for the audience. Because one of the things we Buffinis are pretty comfortable in doing is sharing our weaknesses mm-hmm. because we, we are not perfect and we have gaps. And that's why we need teams and we need people mm-hmm. around us. Mm-hmm. Give an example of one of your real strengths that really mm-hmm. helps you. Mm-hmm. And then another example of how maybe that same strength can get you into trouble or cause you problems. Well, there's one, I'm ethical in my profile, which means mm-hmm. I want to do the right thing in the right way by, and I want to do right by our customer. I want to do right by the people in here. I want to do right by myself. Which is all um, good, right? That's a we, gift. Yeah. And it's like, there's ethics in that and there's integrity in that and there's mm-hmm. direction in that. But sometimes you can be doing, trying to, trying to overdo it. Like sometimes it's like, you know, you can, you don't know if it's the right thing to do or not. But right. if you're clamped down a little bit, and it's something I've had to work on to go, well, I don't know. My, and, and to let it happen and let it progress and not get too stuck, you know. Right. So on one hand, it's great. And on the other hand, you know, I got to be careful to manage it because you can get stuck. Right. Because um, not everything's an ethical decision, right? right. The, color, the color of a website's not an ethical decision, right? It's, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Or I'm a team builder in my profile. Great. Mm. I love to build a team. Mm-hmm. I love to see people going for it. I love to see other uh, leaders lead. You have to be careful with that because you can build, you can be committed Sometimes you don't have the, you're not going to be able to keep those people on the team. Right. And so you can be pursuing, hey, I want to create a great environment and all that. Well, some people aren't contributing to that. Right. And so you have to, I have to go, hey, this person's telling me what they're into and what they're not into. It doesn't align with who we are. And especially in the people business, you got to be really careful of that one, I think. So give me an example of someone you've helped without mentioning a name, obviously, but like someone who was a leader, you know, you deal with very prominent people. Some of them are running, you know, Fortune 50 companies and things like that, who's been stuck in their profile a little bit. Give me an example of someone you kind of help see, mm-hmm. kind of help see the forest for the trees yeah. by introducing them to real strengths. Well, I had a, a CEO of a company who was very gifted, very talented, um, a good communicator. But they also had this thing in their profile called performer. Mm. And performers love to get a reaction and they mm-hmm. don't care whether it's good or bad. <laughs> And so this guy, he had the skills, he has the communication ability, but because he wasn't prepared for communication and he relied on the gift, what would happen is when he was under pressure, he would come out with something provocative Mm -hmm. and he would lose people in the audience or lose Mm -hmm. people internally. And it was kind of like that little thing Mm -hmm. that if he just, when he managed it better and he was more prepared Mm -hmm. and intentional, he could really have a positive impact rather than saying that one thing in a meeting because he wasn't prepared or because of an attribute that wasn't under control. A little, a little technique, here's somebody with strengths, but on a little, a little lack of awareness, bring some awareness and point it out from a profile where it's a positive thing. And this is why I said our coaches do a great job of, you know, helping people to hear information that helps them not to criticize them. It gives them the option to go, hey, this is how you're built. This is really great. But see this one here, you got to watch out for this. So if you tweak this a little bit by putting an adult over that performer and a little mm-hmm. preparation, 
you're not going to have a negative impact and you're going to be even stronger. So that, that'd be a, cl- and for, especially for leaders and anybody, communication is so critical because you have to prepare for it and you have to be intentional and consider the audience. And also I think leaders as well, a lot of times, you know, we're judged harsher and, yeah. um, and, and any little thing today that we miss say or misquote can, yeah. can have, you know, yeah. bad, leave a bad taste in people's mouths. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips on how to think, feel, and do better, check out these videos too. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a like if you enjoy the content.